Hello Cancer, welcome to your monthly chakra healing video. Um, this is going to be for the month of April. We have a lot of stuff going on for you guys, so we're going to get right into it. Um, the good thing about this month is that I feel like this is one of your better months um, with, with everything that's going on. In your root chakra, you have the Knight of Swords. Sacral chakra, you have the Chariot. Um, solar plexus, you have Death. Uh, heart chakra, you have the Empress. Um, throat chakra, you have the moon. Third eye, you have the, the ace of swords. And crown chakra, you have the page of cups. For your oracle cards, you have education and moonlight. And you also have boundaries and knowledge. Now, if you notice, there's a lot of like uh, kind of air energy within your reading for this, mar this, this month. It's very much, uh, how do I explain it? It's very much a time of you really coming back down into kind of getting comfortable in what you know kind of getting like more like learning new things um especially things that you've been curious about like that you haven't had time to explore before you do have you're, you're kind of taking steps to um implement a lot of that now what I find interesting this month is that your root chakra is in the Knight of Swords because I feel like, first of all, the Knight of Swords is a very aggressive and fast moving um, sign. And if you look at your bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles and the Fool. And I feel like you guys are kind of in a very much like a spring cleaning um kind of state of mind right now. What I feel like you guys are doing is like spring cleaning. Um, and that could be very much i feel it a lot definitely with people but also with your own state of mind i feel like you guys have been self-analyzing um yourselves because you have the chair here in your sacral space you have been self-analyzing your traumas you have been self-analyzing the things that you've been holding on to it's it's really like you're holding yourself um in the mirror and you're like, no, I am going to allow for transformation to happen. I am going to try to be different. I'm going to try to start a new routine. Like, yeah, I may be at home, but let me, you know, start a new routine. What haven't I been doing? What can I implement every morning? What can I um, be doing um, better and in, in, in a way where it's like, I'm trying to benefit me moving forward, moving forward, because that's really what this is about here. Moving forward, I'm trying to benefit me because I'm trying to get to this um, Ten of Pentacles energy. I'm trying to conserve all of my energy, um, especially because I give it so easily away. So what, what, what better habits could I be implementing right now? And that's really what your root chakra is looking like. As far as heart chakra goes, you're really in a state of fertility and almost bounty and even though it's like you're inside you're getting to do a lot of the things and you're getting to also see a lot of the, th the things that you do have um and kind of just being in that kind of venus uh place of just enjoying those things that you do have so there's just like this beautiful um drive for you guys to really look at the things that you've been grounded before in the past which i know you guys have been in very toxic relationships in the past and you're kind of just like being very clear cut um and as far as your throat chakra goes you're moving through your intuition you're speaking through your intuition you're like well you know what if you're breaking up with somebody you're like well i knew i had a feeling we we're gonna end up together anyway like i had a feeling you weren't the one i, I just knew like there's a part of me that just knew like stuff like that you guys are very much like very clearly working with your emotions working with your element working with your intuition like as far as spirituality goes i feel like you guys are in a really good place um and the way it's being reflected into your lower chakras is very very clear cut like nope this is what it is this is why you see how the moon is just coming up so much this is why um i i felt this this is why i am not creating this boundary i don't want to i don't need you in my life i know i i don't need you in my life i've kept you in my life so long because of x y and z like you guys are very much um laying down the law <laughs> right now and i feel like it's actually a very beautiful thing because you can now that you're not putting your time into those specific issues you can then focus on other things that are more important and what spirit is saying is more important is your education and your knowledge like what is it that you need to know what is it that you want to study what is it that you want to develop um have development in what what is it how is it that you want to nurture the world moving forward um for some of you 
I know can't this is definitely a, a cancer trait because you guys rule that nourishment you guys are looking at what's happening in the world and almost being driven to um either take part in you know becoming a doctor or a nurse or someone who helps people heal in that way or you're really looking at on a spiritual level how you can help others heal or how you can help heal yourself as well so there is like this seeking education seeking knowledge seeking those um information from those who uh already know um more than maybe you you know and it's a very beautiful um process for you because it's like you're not necessarily bored you're not one of these people that have ran out of things to do you're kind of diving a little, little bit deeper than everybody else is and this is why you got in your third eye the ace of swords because you're doing all of this seeking knowledge seeking truth seeking um foundations for what it is that you want to know how you want to integrate this information what different things that you are kind of studying how you can apply that to your life how you can apply that to your family different in different in many different ways so it's a very beautiful um experience right now and in your crown chakra i can see that you guys are setting really like fresh intentions for yourself um, you're in a very sensitive state where you have um tapped into a, a very very uh not like um fully creative it's definitely more on the spiritual side and i definitely feel like this is more on the spiritual side especially with all of this moon energy all of this um spiritual energy with you guys there is this kind of intention of uh wanting to add something more to your routine to your to what you know to what you do um and there's a lot of information that you can get online and just studying and like booking online courses and um even doing like distant reiki and such and such like there's different ways that you can um evolve and receive this knowledge from a distance uh, even though we're all practicing the social distancing there's there's ways that you can capitalize on it right now um and take the time to learn these things so it's kind of a very beautiful process i feel like you guys are in a really good place i also feel like it's because you guys are in this like no i i like i'm not even dealing with all of these past issues i'm cleaning houses it's like a whole house cancer cleaning you guys are able to really tap into your creative state to tap into your emotional state to really like for i feel like for those who are water signs specifically cancer dominance you might be seeing a lot of creative juices your creative juices flowing and you might be like writing a lot poetry um drawing a lot like really tapping into that subconscious mind and bringing it up to your consciousness where you're able to speak freely and create different ways um to share your artistry with people so it's a very beautiful time for cancer i feel like even though again i feel like some of the signs are going have, having a really hard time with with dealing with what's going on socially but some of the signs that are like very much can be homebodies like you guys you guys are pretty much in your own lane you guys are doing your own thing like i am not worried about you guys this month i feel like you guys ultimately um will be fine i feel like you guys have a lot of things and a lot of uh um I feel like goals within yourself that you need to accomplish like you can't I never forget that you guys are a cardinal sign you guys are still meant to move in different directions as well you're just meant to do it emotionally and that's what happened well, that's what's happening with your crown chakra this month I feel like you guys are moving emotionally towards and actively talking about it too you're like you know what I feel like doing this like you guys are just like I'm I'm vibing with this. I'm going to go in this direction because it feels right to me. You know what I mean? And if something doesn't feel right, you're removing it. So it's a very beautiful thing because you guys are just like, I'm all about transformation right now. You guys are tapping into Scorpio energy and like, and Pisces energy, both, both of your sister signs. And you're just like, you know what? This is what I'm vibing with. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this. I'm kind of, I just, you know, I'm just going to go, I'm going to continue doing this or I'm going to release this and focus on that specifically so it's a very beautiful energy and i'm really really happy for y'all for this month um <clears throat> the only thing i set out as far as like blockage in any of the chakras this really it really depends how the knight of swords kind of manifests in your life um because the knight of swords even though i see it manifesting as a positive thing this month for you guys you know people can make it a negative knight of swords is very aggressive energy so maybe the way you you know release some people might be with you know a couple of curses here and there and again that is the way you feel like giving that out but it might not be in the most positive way so just try to um 
watch what your tone looks like and how you're emotionally releasing and then release it within the moments. Like if you need to curse somebody out and tell them off, do it, but don't do it and hold on to the thing. Cause you guys know micro traumas are my like least favorite thing about y'all. Um, so just be very mindful of that. Anyway, I hope you have a beautiful month and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.